the National Football League. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Eagles and the Lions. And it comes your way next on Madden Football. Downtown between Brush Street and I-375. That's where we're located in the heart of Detroit at Ford Field, which first opened back in 2002. Today, it's the opener of a new NFL season between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Detroit Lions. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and we have arrived at the start of another NFL season, the most exciting time of the year. And CD, both of these story teams we're about to see trying to take a step forward this year. Philadelphia, a lot of optimism there that they can get in the postseason and make some noise. Detroit, of course, we know the story of their franchise. They're just trying to get out of that NFC North basement. The one thing I know about you, partner, you're extremely empathetic, and you do feel for those Lions fans because they have not had a postseason win to celebrate since 1991. They are excited about the direction the franchise is headed, though. They thought they had a good draft, they loved their front office, and they really liked their head coach. As for Philadelphia, they made some moves during the draft and the free agency that put them squarely in a position to compete not just for a playoff spot, but to go deep on a good run. Taken in at the three. And good coverage there on special teams as he'll get him down shy of the 20. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. Bringing them out now in his fourth season after, of course, a memorable 2019 debut. It's Gardner Minshew. And how about this young man? Took the NFL world by storm as a six-round rookie, signature mullet, mustache, but 21 touchdowns for the Jacksonville Jaguars. personality and everyone grab this guy teammates love to win with a quarterback who leads them like that and fans love to root for a guy who seems just like them it'll be Sanders to begin the drive and he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Another run here with Sanders. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off. A pretty decent game. Minshew sets to throw. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he is going to have an Eagles first down, although it doesn't appear to be by much. He needed four, and he got four on third down. But they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain, so they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. And he was brought down by big Levi Owazurike. On second and nine, Minshew. And under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. Aline McNeil, what an effort to get in there and drop him. And Parker, it's safe to say that the secondary really contributed to that sack. Yeah, Nickel said five defensive backs. They covered everything. Nowhere to go with the football. But my question is, why didn't he throw it away? A dime look defensively for the Lions on third. Here's Minshew. going to be too high, out of bounds and incomplete. Here's Aaron Sipos out now to punt on fourth down. 
Back deep is DJ Chark. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. Detroit gets set to go on offense, and it will be the seventh-year pro out of Cal, Jared Goff, leading the attack in his second season as a Lion. Certainly a different set of circumstances awaited Jared Goff in Detroit last season after his trade from Los Angeles. He made what he could out of them and managed three wins on a rebuilding Lions team. They should improve this year behind Goff after an offseason where they made considerable investments in order to try and improve this ball club. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at about the 32. They'll fake the give. Now Goff in trouble and he's taken down. That's sack courtesy of the effort of Hassan Reddick. And so much for that great field position to start the game. Now they're way behind the sticks. Can't wait to see what their second down call is going to look like now. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Goff now to throw. They're connecting here with DJ Shark. They get 14 back, but it leads now to the third down. Well, Parker, that's the start that you want right there. And you know he spent the entire offseason throwing hundreds, I'd probably say thousands of passes, getting ready for that moment. The first throw of the new season. He's dreamed about it, thought about it. And he's going to be taken down. Goff is sacked. Josh Sweat rushing in and bringing him down to the ground. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. On fourth down, Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. Fielded at the 20. And that'll be a return of 12 following a very nice punt. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. So back onto the field here come the Eagles for their second drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Throwing on first down is Minshew. Well, that's complete to Sanders. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backside of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got a bike. Oh, he just he's got a man complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. That is the exact right play call against that defense. So a hat tip to the offensive play caller because he won that part of the chess match. But give credit to his players as well. They won the execution part of it. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Shotgun snap and then the give to Sanders. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Miles Sanders, his first rushing touchdown on the year. And the Eagles get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic, and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield, and how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Elliott good on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. 
Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. They went three and out on their first drive of the new season. Not an ideal beginning as they start drive number two, first and ten. The Goff's throw taken in by Chark. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. First carry for DeAndre Swift. Four yards to pick up, first down. Second into his prime time for the end of the game, wasn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up the first down, keep the sticks moving. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. To throw is gone. Now that'll be caught by St. Brown. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Second down and five. Go off a handoff here to Swift. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try and run here with Swift. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll be a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. Here's Jack Fox now. They'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And this works out well as it'll kick out of bounds at the 11-yard line. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. 40 yards for him on the ground in this first quarter. And he has been tremendous to start the new year. A good run there off right tackle. And in old school NFL football, the right side, the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. Right back to Sanders on first down. And he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards the loss, second and 12. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. On second and 12, Minshew. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Goddard. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Left side here to Sanders. And he will be marked down short of the first as they get to him at the 29. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. Here's Aaron Sipos now. And now the young man has it. It's a fake. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Well, on that punt, we've got a man shaken up. Well, just the last thing you want to see here in the first quarter of a new season. Hopefully nothing serious. We'll step aside for a moment. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Looking to throw it, Minshew. He finds his tight end, Goddard, that's complete. Two yards on the pickup there, and it's second down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession. As they've got a second and eight forthcoming. Here's Sanders. 
And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Now Minshew. Smith catches left side. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. Devontae Smith's workload certainly didn't get any lighter going from being a Heisman Trophy winner at Alabama to his first year with the Philadelphia Eagles. 104 targets as a rookie and his 916 yards. They were the most for a Phil... 2015. They go to him there for a first down. On first and ten, it's Sanders. He takes this for about six down inside the 40. The last run got six. Now second and four. From the gun, Minshew to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Smith. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 22-yard line. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. They'll run. It's Sanders. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. On second and seven, Minshew, and he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. Derek Barnes gets him for a loss of five. He is so tough to handle on the blitz, and that's exhibit A. Well, that's the second time he's been sacked so far in the first half, and if they have designs on having a big year, on going anywhere, they've got to find a way to keep him upright so they can throw the football. The offense on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third down and 12. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Aiden Hutchinson, that is one that he will remember. His first career sack in his first career game in the National Football League. So a great play there for this highly regarded linebacker making his first career sack. And his versatility on display right there. Look, we've known primarily as a tackler and a cover man, but he can go get the quarterback when the situation calls for it, as he just did right there. So as it turns out, that sack doesn't wind up costing them, Charles. They at least get points, get three of them. Yeah, that's where your kicker can really come to your rescue because you know after the sack, there was a little consternation there. Are we out of field goal range? Are we going to be able to get three? In this case, he stepped right up and gave them exactly what they needed. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. We'll remind you that coming up tonight, the first Sunday nighter of the new season, and how about this for a matchup? The Buccaneers and the Cowboys from Dallas, 8.20 Eastern. Then tomorrow, Monday night, just one game here in week one this year, and it'll put the Broncos and Seahawks as Russell Wilson makes his Bronco debut. And, of course, where is it? Seattle. Coincidence? We'll let you decide. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again, second and 10 from the 25. They'll run the draw here with Swift. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Throwing on third, Golf. He's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds, so a big call there. That brings up fourth. And here now the punter, Fox, as he sends this one away. And take it right at the 35. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. This offense returns to the field. And the former Penn State star, Miles Sanders, we get a look at him. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Those guys have an innate sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working. Working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. 
That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. The 71 yards rushing for him in his first half as he is looking in mid-season form here in the opener. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll go again with Sanders. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Minshew throwing on third down. This one to the sideline. He's got it. A nice job to keep the feet in, but he is a bit short here of the first down. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So three points there, and they continue to build this first-half lead. Yeah, every little bit helps, and the more that you can put together drives and start controlling the tempo, controlling possession, finishing with points, the better off you're going to be. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. Some might have returned that one. He won. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start the drive from the 25. The Lions offense set to take over. They find themselves down 13-0 here as they try to get things started offensively. First and 10. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Back to throw. Goff. That one complete. He finds Sharp. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Goff linking up with Sharp for the Lions first down. That's good for the Lions. First and 10 at the 37 yard Now line. gone. That's once again complete to Chark. And a five yard gain gets him to the 42. It's a game of five. Throwing again on second down. Goff. He's airing it out for Williams. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. But Charles, we get a look there at the draft class for this offense. What do you make of it? Well, overall, I like the balance of the guys that they selected because, to me, they got a few guys who can step in and play right away, which is exactly what you want. But they also drafted for the future as well. They got some guys who might need a year or two in the practice squad. So then we'll find out if they can actually play. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. First and ten at the 49 yard line. He gets this complete to Cephas. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth. <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Third down. Goff wants to throw on third and one. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. Well, Brandon, anything beyond 50, you start rolling the dice a bit. And once you get up around 57, 58 yards, the chances of making it go down dramatically. And sure enough, this one winds up no good. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. 
Yeah, they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on the lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. The best way to do it, touchdowns. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit them over the top unsuccessfully. He's going to let it go again, and he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Aaron Sipos on to punt as he'll get this one away now. Fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 15-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return, and the Lions will take over. On first down, gone. Got St. Brown running the quick slant here. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. On first and 10, Goff. He's airing it out for Williams. And incomplete on the deep ball. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Now, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Goff on first down. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. This one complete to Devin Funches. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Funches has it complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. A big completion there, and he gets out of bounds to stop the clock. Very heady football. That allows them the opportunity to go ahead and line up and kick one right before the half ends. Patterson's kick is good. And they will indeed get on the board here, but still trailing. It's now 13-3. Well, still trailing here, but they do get the late field goal. Now their defense will try to keep this score right where it is heading into the locker room. Yeah, and trailing at the break, you obviously don't want to go in off of a negative play. Give them credit for that one. Finding a way to put points on the board, give them any type of a spark, anything to build off of as they try and plan a comeback. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. We begin week one up in our nation's capital, or just outside it to be more accurate, Jacksonville in town to take on Washington. And those two are tied up as they play the second quarter. From there, we head down south to Atlanta. Check on the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And for the moment, they trail the visiting Saints in that one. Michael Thomas, a touchdown reception. Lastly, let's get you to Charlotte, North Carolina. Check on the Panthers at home at Bank of America Stadium. And they've gone to the half in that ball game with the visiting Browns out on top. Deshaun Watson has thrown a touchdown pass. Time now for a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Eagles. And despite the big lead, they really did next to nothing throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage. We'll see how aggressive they want to be going forward. Meanwhile, for the Lions, they had a little more success than their counterparts did in the passing game. 
as evidenced by the numbers there. It's a new season, so both of these coaching staffs likely making plenty of adjustments after their first half of football. So for the call of the second half here in week one, we go back to Brandon and Charles. All right, coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And the half will begin with a touchback. The Lions offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. Morning game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. On first and 10, it's Swift. It's a room to maneuver. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Holding offense. So the big gain all for naught for the offense. That yellow flag is going to bring it back. Oh, what a tough look for the offense because they see all that yardage lost and that ball's walked back and then some behind the original line of scrimmage. They run on first down, but it only produces a gain of two. It's second down now. Taken down. Brings up second down. On second and 12, Goff. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Goff now looking to throw. And he's gonna go down. They get to him back at the 40. Multiple players getting home there for an eight yard loss. It seemed like he kept going through those progressions and I thought he might dump that underneath, but he couldn't get rid of the football in time. And I have to wonder if he was thinking while he was back there, I wish there were a lot less progressions on this play. Just someone that I can dump the ball to and get it out of my hands. Throwing on second and long. Goff. And he'll just get rid of it. We've got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. And this one into the hands of D.J. Shark. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll bring up fourth down. Patterson's kick is good. And they will cut the lead back down to a touchdown now at 13 to 6. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. Let's get the ball back for us. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Another run with Sanders. Nowhere to go that time. Might have gotten a yard up to the 25. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here. So it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. Well, the medical staff checks on him. We'll step aside in this week one contest. And it looks 
looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Minshew sets to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Sanders. And a good tackle there right around the 30. Stops him short of the first down. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Fielded at about the 28. 39-yard punt, six yards on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Goff in this Lions offense, set for a first and 10 at the 34. They'll start on the ground with Swift. Swift is hit, and he coughs it up. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Hassan Reddick in there to get him once again. That's two sacks for him now here on opening day. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has now received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get them off the field with a three and out. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. It's a return of four following a 42-yard punt, and it will be first and ten as they take over. From the 34 now, here's first and ten. A little jet sweep to start the drive. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And a lot of times, these plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage. And here, they got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. 87 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. And that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Well, you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those. But the coverage has been excellent thus far. And it was again on the last play. Here's Minshew. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Mike Hughes. And the Lions are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively, getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. Goff in this Lions offense, set for a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They try to find Chark, but it's intercepted. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Eagles' defense gets a pick six TD. So that a real wrench thrown in now for this offense. They're trying to make a game of this in the third quarter, but that is not going to help. Yeah, partner, probably should have used a different tool on that play, right? That ultimately is the kind of play where you can lose a ball game instead of being in a position to win. Elliott good with a PAT. And the lead now up to 14. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line.
And search a redemption from the pick six. Gone. Caught left side by Funches. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven. Past the 30 to the 32. Seven-yard pickup brings up second and three at the 32-yard line. On second down, Swift. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. First down Lions on a pickup of 13. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there, I'm just one big carry. And he's going to be taken down. Goff is sacked. Hassan Reddick giving him once again his third sack of the afternoon. It has been a rough afternoon for him trying to get rid of the football. See, that's now five sacks. How'd you like to be the offensive coordinator, the offensive line coach trying to come up with an answer for this pass rush? What blocking assignments do you change? Can guys play a little bit better? And we're seeing the end result on the scoreboard. Long day in the pocket for their quarterback. He's airing it out for Williams. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked by the former Lion, Darius Slay. And they finally put an end to this return, but not before he's all the way down to the 37. So the ball changing hands on the interception, but meanwhile here, we do have an injury on the play. Boy, you always hate to see injuries, especially tough here in week one, just hoping this is nothing serious. We'll take a quick timeout. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Running right, here's Sanders. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. They'll drop to throw. That swung out wide to Sanders. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. In danger of squandering their great field position as they come up on a third and seventh. Looking to throw it. Minshew. And the throw there going to be incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. And right now, Charles, this is about building that lead little by little, and they're able to do just that. And it gets them past the key number of 16, so this is now a three-score lead. Not time to exhale just yet, but that might prove to be an important three points before things are said and done. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. This offense back out and set to go for their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now at Ford Field. It's the Lions trailing, but with possession of the football as we get set to bring you the fourth quarter. Now a first down throw, gone. And his pass incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. That's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. And Shark calls it in. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit is going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where his coaches 
You're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. Back to back, nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Goff now to throw. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. And the Eagles are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Another run here with Sanders. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Now Minshew. Toward the sideline, he will have the first down. Good catch. He was able to keep the feet inbounds. That one goes for eight yards. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down inbounds, toe-tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Shotgun snap, and then the give to Sanders. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. And this offense on third down today, just a 20% success rate at two of ten. This is third and eight. Eluding the pressure right. And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. Decent gain on the scramble of six, but now it's fourth. That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own, but as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you, and if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. After the interception, here's Goff. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the Eagles' 38-yard line. From the 38, Goff got his man. It's Williams. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. A gain of 12 yards. And the Lions... Now Goff on first down. Open man right side is St. Brown. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Again, Goff. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. And a penalty flagged down as he gets only about a yard. And let's listen in on the call. Holding offense. All right, so they got that one, Charles, against the center. And let's remember how difficult it is for the center because remember, he's got to snap the ball to put the play in motion. And sometimes you got that big guy on your nose. You got sometimes where he's coming at you at an angle. It's a difficult job for him to snap the ball and then execute his block. We'll see what they have drawn up here a little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Golf over the middle complete. It's Reynolds. And he'll be tackled right on the 10, well short of the first down. So eight yards on the completion there, and that's going to make it fourth down. 
They go ahead and snap it. Gone. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the offense will recover, but it won't make much difference here. This will still be a turnover on downs. The Lions turned away on fourth down. And the Eagles defense able to hold. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Been a very strong performance for them, really, on both sides of the football. The turnover on down is the most recent example, and now, obviously, they're in a great spot here. If you're over on the bench right now, you're shaking hands with your teammate, you're hugging them, giving them a little dab. Been a big, big performance for them. Now you just don't get careless. Take care of the ball right now. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. For the Lions, an extra DB in the game now here on third down. They'll look to throw here. He's got his target. That's Zach Pascal. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. 38-yard line, second and nine. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And not much room to speak of. He'll get about three up to the 41. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Out of the gun is Minshew. To the sideline, he's got the catch, and he kept the feet in bounds. Well done. Excellent play there on third down. Give them 25 yards. Continuing to keep their foot on the gas, and it looks like they're just having fun out there. They're loose, they're free, and they're enjoying what the scoreboard looks like. I'd have to say I agree with you totally. They're having a blast out there all game long when they throw the football. They're picking up nice chunks of... Re Plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay. They want a challenge, and they're going to get one. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Now here's the call. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. They'll run with Sanders. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Now a carry for Sanders. Trucks over him and brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. Now Sanders, and they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. It's a second down run with Sanders. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. They're bringing us about right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. On third down, they turn to Sanders. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. 124 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Here's Sanders. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. They'll run. It's Sanders. And he takes it in for the score on the game's final play. So it doesn't affect the outcome, but a little whipped cream on top to their ending. Or as our friends in Bayou Country would say, that's a little land yap, a little extra on top. At least they were running the ball on the final play instead of trying <laughs> to throw it to rub it in, but they still got in the end zone. I, 
kind of blame that, though, defensively. They were just kind of not even willing to stop them. Yeah, it, they had an opportunity, but I think they looked at the scoreboard and said, it doesn't matter either way, and that probably affected them on that play and they ended up giving up one more score. Well, CD, always a little extra excitement for week one, and one of our early window games here in week one on a Sunday comes to a close. Good to be back in the booth with you, my friend. And it's good to be back in the booth with you as well. And we know that not everyone's going to start the season 1-0, right? Half the league is going to have a loss on their record. But everyone's got to build off of that opener. And how many coaches tell us every single year, you make your most progress between week one and week two. We'll see how both of these teams progress the rest of the season.